Yes guys, my name is Junaid. I'm a third year medical student studying at Newcastle University and for today's video I thought I would go over how to make the most out of your lectures at uni. So in this video I thought I would just go over some things that I've learned over the past two years from attending various lectures at my med school and hopefully you guys find this video useful. So I'll drop a cheeky like if you did. So I'm going to leave the video timestamps in the description below. So if you're in a rush or you just want to skip to any part, feel free to do that. And I'm going to go make myself some coffee because I'm really, really tired right now. So I'll be back shortly. So for those of you who've never been to uni and have never really attended a lecture, think of it as a really big presentation where a professor who's um, an expert in their field will be delivering a presentation to a large audience. At my med school, there's probably around 300 people in each lecture, but that's at the start of the year and then towards the end, it just sort of like goes down because people just don't attend towards the end. If you really want to get the most out of your lectures, the number one advice I can give is focus on finding an effective note taking method. Now obviously there's loads and loads of different methods of taking notes. Um, you know there's pen and paper, there's typing, um, some people like using iPad and the Apple Pencil. So I'd say really sort of try as many of those as you can um, and even the ones that I've not listed and just see which one you find the most effective. So I've tried the pen and paper method and I just found that it was uh, too slow for me because I couldn't really keep up with what the lecturer was saying. Because I was rushing so much, my handwriting ended up being terrible and I could barely read my own writing. So that's when I made the switch to typing on my laptop. And since then, it's been a really good change because I've been able to keep up with the lecturer and everything's a lot more organized, so I don't need to worry about losing my notes or having massive files stacked up and stuff like that. So what I do is I go through the PowerPoint slides with the lecturer as they're going through it on the screen, and there's a little like note section on the bottom, and that's where I just jot down any key information that the lecturer is saying or anything that I think will be useful when I, when I look over my notes. Another sort of tip that I've found to be useful is writing down questions for yourself and what this does is it forces you to look up the answers when you look over your notes and that just helps you consolidate the information and really sort of understand it a bit better. I haven't tried the iPad and Apple Pencil method. A lot of people have started using that and there's a ton of reviews on YouTube. So yeah, it could be something that I look into in the future. So the biggest mistake people make when making notes and lectures is writing down everything that the lecturer is saying. Just don't do it because not everything is relevant and it'll make your life so much harder when you look over your notes and you try finding the key bits of information. So keep your notes concise and be very selective with what you write down. So one of the biggest game changers for me has been pre-reading my lectures. Now, trust me on this because I know it seems like it's a lot of work, but it really doesn't have to be. I think it was Ali Abdal that I remember saying this, uh, but it could have been anyone else. They recommended that you spend around 10 to 15 minutes pre-reading each lecture. And so far that's been amazing because what I've noticed is I find the lectures more engaging, and it also just allows me to sort of familiarize myself with what's going to come up in the lecture. So a lot of universities nowadays, they upload their lectures online like a few days in advance. So really sort of make the most of that. And whenever you're free and you're not doing any of the work, just spend about 10 minutes uh, looking through the lecture slides and just Googling terminology that you're unsure on or just sort of familiarizing yourself with the content. And that will go really far in helping you be more engaged during the lecture and because you've already gone over that content once, even if it's for 10 minutes, 
going over it again during the lecture will help consolidate that information and that will do absolute bits for you when it comes to revising for your exams. And that sort of leads me on to the next point, which is a bit of a controversial one. Take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, sometimes it's best not to attend lectures. Now, before you do that, check your university policy and make sure that they allow for that because the last thing I want is for you guys to get in trouble. Just check your policy and make sure that that's okay. But with a lot of medical schools, uh, including mine, uh, a lot of the lectures are optional, which means you don't have to go if you don't want to. What that means is you can do them in your own time off campus, which can be really helpful if you have a really busy schedule. And because a lot of lectures are recaps and streamed online, that means you can watch them in your own time. At my university, and I'm sure a lot of others as well, they have a feature where you can speed up the lecture, which basically means that if you have an hour lecture, you can, you can do it in half an hour if you watch it in two times speed. But that can really help if you find that you're more productive at home and it just allows you to get things done quicker. So I'd say try it out if your university allows you to. Me personally, I, I mix it up. So sometimes I go in, sometimes I don't. And I do that based off the pre-reading that I do for the lectures. If I feel like I have a lot of questions that I want to ask the lecturer, or if I feel like I haven't really got a grasp of the content in the lecture, then I will attend. Whereas if I feel like I'll be able to understand the information and the content in the lecture, then I probably won't attend and I'll just do it in my own time. So like I said, take it with a pinch of salt, but uh, try it out and hopefully it should help you guys. So the next tip I have is to ask your lecturer as many questions as you can. I'd say 90% of the time, they'll be more than happy to stay till the end and answer any questions you have. Just remember that they are specialists in their field and they've accumulated that knowledge over a number of years. So they're well equipped to answer any questions you have on the topic. I'd say that if you really didn't understand the concepts in the lecture and your questions are quite long, then you could just ask the lecturer if you could email them afterwards and the majority of the time they'll be fine with that and they'll be really helpful in answering your questions. Like looking back at this is so stupid, but I, I remember in first year, I was really shy about going to the front and asking the lecturer questions at the end. And it was probably because there were around, you know, 200, 300 people in the lecture hall. And I didn't want to seem too eager. So even if I didn't understand the content, I wouldn't go to the lecture at the end and ask them to explain it better. Um, but over time I've learned that no one really cares and everyone's just sort of focused on their own learning and you know, there really is no shame in asking for help when you need it. So I'd say just make the most out of the knowledge that the lecturers have because they are far more experienced and knowledgeable than we are as students. So so yeah, there's, there's really no shame in asking for help. The final tip I have is make sure you are well rested and alert before your lecture because it's the worst thing in the world when you turn up to a lecture half asleep or tired and I'm not gonna lie the lecture hall is like the best place to sleep because the lecturer's voice is literally like a lullaby and it'll put you to sleep like that. Make sure you get enough sleep and if you didn't then make sure you have a nice cup of coffee before you go in so you don't fall asleep halfway because I've done that so many times and I'll probably put a picture up somewhere um, of me asleep whatever you do don't do a Janaid take things seriously because you're there to learn and that you are paying nine and a half grand a year just make sure that you're well rested you're alert and, and that you take your lectures seriously so yeah guys that's it really I hope you guys found it helpful and if you did you know the drill drop a cheeky like subscribe and follow me on my socials if you haven't already and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one take care